Hello everybody, welcome back to today's plugin tutorial video. Today we are checking out AquaCore. So if you don't know what AquaCore is, AquaCore is a plugin created by one of our developers, but separately from BJHD Development. So it's not owned by us, but it is owned by Faceslap Undercord or Activated. So getting straight into it, it does cost $40 because it's such a packed core full of great, great stuff. So make sure you're aware of this before you purchase the plugin. For dependencies type stuff, it does require a MongoDB database, a Redis, Redis database, Java 8 or 1.7 through 1.12. I believe it also supports, I think it's only 1.12 right now, but I think there may be plans for 1.15. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on this. This is not my plugin. I can't update it. I can't provide support. But uh, for sure, act, ask Activated Face Slap if um, support's coming for future versions. But anyway, it does do a lot of things. It does punishments, ranks, tags, settings, reviews, stuff like that. Um, some of the commands are like blacklist, ban, unmute, check punishments. You have, uh, so that's like your punishment stuff for ranks. You can set ranks, set different prefixes. You have grants. You have reports and requests throughout it. You have a GUI for the reports. You have tags, same with the GUI for tags. You have admin and staff chat. You have staff connections between stuff. You have private messages. You have chat settings. You have server manager stuff. So you can like run commands on different servers and stuff. See if it's whitelisted, what the max players are. Um, it can all this good stuff you have like online and offline messages you have filtered and ips things you have freeze you have all this stuff you have click messages permissions rollback staff rollback um settings for the stuff coins all this stuff like look at all these features great amount of features um and it's it's really really cool so if you want to buy the plugin that is on mc market we're going to jump in game now on their official test server and the link to this test server will be down in the description below if you're interested in checking it out so one thing um we're just going to start off with the punishments and that's like slash ban and um oh we can only per perform aqua core so why don't we just start with doing slash aqua core and that just brings up the help menu which is like your default type thing and um that just brings that up and then you can do like um we'll actually bring up the rank menu first so slash rank and this is this is like you setting rank so you can do like rank create um and then create a test rank or something um i'm not allowed to add it because i'm on the test server but that would be like what you would bring up and stuff and you can like set purchasable it can you purchase the rank um should it be bold should it suffix what servers should it be on all that stuff can be edited in game which is pretty pretty cool um you can do slack settings which opens up the settings ui and this is like private messages yes and no which is actually pretty cool i like how it shifts in the editor private messaging sounds should, what should the time be for you so you can set the time for your personal player rather than the whole server global chat chat mentioned do you want to be mentioned tip alerts do you want to see some alerts and chats about the different tips of the server so that would be like this uh tip one of number one two three etc that would turn that off if you toggled that off um which is pretty pretty cool i do like how you have set that up um you have slash grant for ranks and stuff so if i wanted to grant myself a rank i could do all ranks or available ranks so the total amount of ranks is owner and click to proceed so all ranks you can see all the ranks on the server and you can grant let's say uh manager to me and it would be a lobby so you can shift lift click shift left click to confirm the lobby rank i apologize i got a phone call so you can like click if you want to grant it globally permanent choose duration permanent and select a reason testing or something and then click confirm to do it and then i have manager rank permanently which is pretty cool so great job on creating the rank stuff because that's actually pretty cool i'm actually going to give myself famous because i'm i'm a famous person apparently on here and um yt i'm a youtuber Yes, confirm. So now I have famous rank. Um, it may take a moment to change. I'm not sure if the manager, I think I have to remove manager before I actually add famous because it duplicates it because manager's over famous. Um, so I'll actually have to remove that um, manager rank, um, but I won't do that right now just because of the time. Um, but you can do that through this like rank commands and everything else. So you, of course you can do that if you want to. Um, also, let's just move on to reports. So you can do slash reports and you're going to press a player name or something. And it says, I don't have any reports recorded. So I could do actually report noodles for like test. And it's, you're not allowed to report yourself. Well, sadly, I don't have an alt account on right now. So I can't actually report anyone else. Um, 
but if you wanted to I could report like face slap but it may not work because he's not online right now um, yeah he's not he's not connected currently um, but if he was I could um, report him which is pretty cool I do like the custom error messages too about like what the actual error is is he in the database is he not online stuff like that is really 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 cool so great job on that um, so I wish I could actually I could report this guy right now so another person joined and I was gonna report him for test so it's we, we your reports been sent so and then you see noodles reported him for test so that is pretty cool I do like how you have done that that's really really good um, so great job on that uh, I think you could do reports menu I'm not exactly sure what the command is and I think I'm gonna oh you can do help op too so help op like test and it will send to all the staff members as test so you have all your like basic staff chat and other stuff so staff chat bear staff chat and stuff um, and you also have like admin chat all that stuff is also available here which is pretty cool very very nice job on your server like that um, so you also have tags so we'll open up the tags menu and tags can be like uh, different things in front of your username and stuff so manager bling so just click it and it will be a heart tag like that that's actually pretty cool I do like how you have done that so you have a bunch of tags you can do like different colors so if I wanted like a yellow tag now my tag is yellow all this cool stuff so great great job on setting this up because that's really really nice I do like how you have done that um, of course to do staff chat and stuff you can just put like an explanation point before or like a for admin chat a at symbol before it um, and if I was a staff member it would show that I've connected to the server when I switch it you can do slack MSG with a custom message and I'm just gonna message this other person saying test so I message to them test and I also have a social spy which shows me what I've messaged so you have social spy as well and of course you can do slash ignore and add like someone to an ignore list if you don't want them to message you you also have chat commands so you can do like chat mute um, I don't know if this will work on the test server, but I can mute it, so I've disabled it, and then I can do unmute to unmute it, and it will be, has been enabled. Uh, chat slow, so I can do like chat slow five seconds, or I can just clear, so chat clear to clear the whole thing. So that's pretty cool. So great job on setting that up. Very, very, very nice job on that. Um, so those are those types of things, and then when you have server manager, so you could do Slack server manager, and the server manager lets you run commands on every server so you can like list servers to see what servers are on it so you have hcf and um lobby so you can do server manager info lobby and it will show you all the info lobby the tps the max players whitelist under maintenance all that good stuff is available there which is pretty cool and if those go offline of course you can uh toggle it and everything i think because i'm a manager it's actually going to block uh, my it's not going to block my li link um but yeah, it won't it won't actually block my link because I'm a manager because I gave myself those permissions. So um, sadly, I can't actually test that. But if I did, it would um, actually filter it and let me see it as a staff member. Um, you have Slack freeze. I don't know if it's going to. Yeah, it's not going to let me freeze myself, sadly, but it does work. Just trust me on that. Uh, you have a Slack panic system. Um, which is like, um, it's when a hacker attacks a player and they don't want to die, so you could do slash panic. It may be disabled, so you can see, warning, you're currently in panic. Wait for the staff to join our team speak, so it won't, it won't actually kill you. Um, so you actually have to wait 3 minutes and 52 seconds for that to um, go away, sadly. So I'm actually stuck here, uh, sadly. Hmm. Maybe they're, they're, they're prob- oh, I can just do unpanic. Oh, that's good. A staff member can do unpanic, so I'm no longer in panic and I don't actually have to wait. Um, so it's a 10 minute cooldown um, or whatever you want to do. You can set any cooldown you want, which is pretty cool. You can do Slack set permission to set a permission uh, for a player. So set, set permission, the user, the permission like test.test .test and true or false. And then you can see it's been added to my database. Um, you have staff rollback, so you can do Slack staff rollback if my staff alert staff chat slash history slash staff mode staff rollback it's actually probably not going to work noodles uh time six days type bands or something uh wiping all bands so that player doesn't have any bands performed so you can see i could do that um you can do slack staff alerts to toggle what alerts you get so if you wanted to not have like staff chat admin chat request alerts reports alerts of course you could toggle those as well you can also check your staff history with slack staff history and the player username which is pretty cool so you can see my history of bands mutes blacklists 
kicks and all the other good things you have slack color to modify your username color or your uh, tag color so of course you can change that you have the settings menu of course we already went over um, name MC validation does happen when you join if you want it to so you can enable that you can also have like a coin system so you can see you can you currently have coin zero coins you can purchase zero rank so if you wanted to make it purchasable you can do that as well um, of course there's like a default game mode command game mode survival creative all that uh, you can do like add lore uh, remove lore from the items you're currently having you can do a slack rename so you get all this cool stuff um, of course you have like broadcast and all those um, default commands and stuff throughout the server. So that's pretty, pretty nice of a thing you have. Of course, you can do a reload as well. You have name tags, tips, chat format, staff history. You can import from pecs and stuff. And you also do have staff mode. So you can enter staff mode to punish, uh, push forward, uh, staff online. So if you want to push yourself forward, there you go. You can teleport to a random player, get a better view, inspect the player, freeze the player, vanish, unvanish. All those good things are available as well. You also get playtime. So if you wanted to view your playtime, you can see what your playtime is on the server. It supports placeholder API and all that good stuff. And it also has an API, which I'll pull up real quick so I can show you that. But it's a very, very nice server. I do rec uh, plug in. I do recommend checking it out if you have the time. So let's go ahead and pull up the AquaCore API so I can take a look at it and show you guys that. So on the AquaCore API, you can see it's a one file. So it's a .jar, uh, rar, .jar file. You can download it and use it. Um, and then it has it doesn't really have documentation on here, but you can reach out to activate it on Discord. And I believe he has documentation in this Discord on how to use this for uh, your server itself in your own plugin. So great job. Great, great, great work by Activated. Thank you so much for letting me review it on your new test server. Very nice test server, by the way. Glad you got that set up and working. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Noodles. Um, if you have any questions, please reach out to Activated on Discord and because I won't be able to answer them about AquaCore. So thank you so much for watching. My name is Noodles. I'll see you in the next video. Good